want you to think about here is the particular case where I don't multiply by, I don't multiply two different complex numbers, but what if I multiply the same complex number repeatedly? Okay, so let's, let's just come up with this guy. R cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, so here's your generic complex number in mod arg form. Okay, using this principle of multiplying the moduli and adding the arguments. Okay, what's z squared? First we'll do the moduli. Yeah, Minsu. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. I'd like to don't 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 go too hard at yourself, okay? Alright, hold on a sec. I've multiplied the moduli, right? R times R. Now I add the arguments, right? Now if I'm adding the argument to itself, theta plus theta, it's just gonna be cos two theta plus i sine two theta. You okay with that? Now what if I did it again? Okay, if I multiply by z, the original one, another time, okay? Will I multiply by the same modulus? So I get r cubed, and then I add the same argument, which is still theta. Right, so this guy's going to be cos three theta. three theta plus i sine three theta. Okay. Now it doesn't take a rocket scientist to generalize from here, right? If you take any complex number and you raise it to some integer power, okay, I'm going to write down my condition, my restriction in a second. If I raise it to an integer power, then all I need to do is raise the modulus to that same integer power and multiply my angle by whatever power it was. Okay? Now, don't read out, it's not a double n, that's i sine n theta. And sometimes to make that really obvious, um, some, some mathematicians and authors uh, and textbooks will put brackets around there just to make it really, really obvious. Okay. Now, you remember I said um, the, the complex plane, right? We call it the Argan diagram. Argan was a French mathematician. Another French mathematician um, came up with this. Now, <laughs> this is the name I'm going to put on this, okay? And I'm going to write it first, and then I'm going to teach you how to pronounce it. Okay, so here is the theorem. Now, I have heard like a hundred different pronunciations of, um, of this name, okay? Let me teach you first like the pieces before we, before we do this thing, okay? Uh, firstly, remember, it's French, right? It's French. So in French, when you see this word, what do you say? You say moi, right? As in, you know, me, okay? You do not say moi, okay? Don't say moi. Now, secondly, secondly, when you see this, okay? Now, um, you might know there's a famous art gallery which has this as the end of its name as well, okay? Now, it's this R here, right? It's not quite like we say R. There's no, there's no vowel in here, okay? So the way you would say this is as R. It's not like V. There's no hard R sound on the end. It's just V. You, you almost don't hear it, okay? You almost don't hear it. This is De Moivre's theorem, okay? De Moivre's theorem. This is a very special case. Because it's special, it does come up repeatedly. In fact, you'll see it appear in exercise 1.2. You can take quite significant advantage of it. Okay? Now, before I, um, before I let you loose just to finish working, okay? I wonder, based on all this generalizing we have done, okay? I wonder what you would make of, you remember how I said, okay, what happens when we do repeated multiplication by i? Okay? What do you think would happen if I did repeated multiplication by something like 2i. Don't shout it out. Just try and picture what might be happening. Hmm. Now, to guide you, before I just draw it for you, okay? to guide you, let me remind you, where is 2i on our complex plane? It's still on the imaginary axis. There's no real part to it. Okay? But if i is here, then 2i is twice as far away. It's up here. There's 2i. Okay? So I hope you can see now to get this in mod arg form, you can see what the argument is, and you can see what the modulus is. 
Okay. So now what would you predict would happen when you multiply by 2i repeatedly? Are you ready for the picture? Just think about it. I'm going to start nice and small. Okay. If I plot 1 and I plot it like there, I need to start small and I hope you can see why. Okay. Well, the first multiplication by 2i, that's easy. I've, I've already shown you where that is. Okay. So if that's 1, then 1, 2, there will be 2i. You see that? There's my first multiplication. What will happen for the next one? Okay, firstly, I'm going to rotate back onto the real axis, right? But I'm going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, twice as far away. You see that? What happens when I do my third multiplication? 16. I'm going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I've rotated around another pi on 2 radians. Okay? If I multiplied one more time, okay, because it's 2i, then 2i to the power of 4, of course, is 2 to the 4 times i to the 4. But you know what i to the 4 is. It's 1. So it's just 16 back on the real axis. Okay. So, get a sense by the geometry of these numbers, okay? Um, these are very powerful results, but you need to see them. Now, if you're like, if you're like, I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried, and I still sound like an idiot, then just call it that, okay? Save yourself some trouble. Or let me, let me tell you, well, see the French guy, Argand, or De Moi, which one? we can say Argand. Okay, now. Please don't, please don't, as um, as I've heard many well-meaning people um, say, don't pronounce this as more. Okay, now, now I've heard people say it's. And by the way, they say it with great authority and like this is how it's. Said. And they say, yeah, 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 I know that. It's De Moivre's theorem, right? Now, it's French. It's not Spanish, okay? It's not like, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's Chile, and then there's the Moivre, right? No, 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 okay? Not Spanish, it's French, okay? So, so no Moivre, okay? Compadre, Moivre, it's not Spanish, right?